Aloha, my name is Kara Jabola Corollis, and I greet you from the Hawaii State Commission on the Status of Women in Honolulu, Hawaii. The Commission on the Status of Women is a statewide government agency in the United States that is committed to restoring the venerated status of women, femme-identified, and non-binary people in Hawaii. We are the first government to propose a feminist economic recovery from COVID-19, and that was really important because in a sexist society, we know that if it's not explicitly feminist, then it's going to be patriarchal. And we were determined not to return to the gender hierarchy that compounding with other crises across the United States and the world brought us to this moment. We wanted to also counteract a disturbing trend that we're seeing, especially with fascist regimes, exploiting the crisis to undermine democratic processes. As a feminist government agency, we wanted to model a community-based collaborative process in responding to the crisis and also to define the plan out of it. So we have what's called the Feminist COVID-19 Response Team at the state level that was convened by an official government agency here. And this team is made up of women from beyond the, you know, the academe and beyond the elite space of government. It included community activists and organizers and other service providers who are seeing the impact on the ground level and know what's best in terms of building out of this emergency. And so for us, we agreed that we did not want to rebuild the economy. We want to rebuild our relationship to women and land that has been broken by patriarchy and Western colonization, first and foremost. We also wanted to center the majority of women who are working class. So the key feature of this plan is really about reorienting our economy away from a tourism trap, from militarism, from luxury development and other harmful and sexist industries in Hawaii, and instead focus on the needs of women. So building out finally, meaningfully, a maternal care infrastructure, child care, elder care, that revalues these species essential activities and also provides jobs that need to be prevailing wage, unionized, and non-precarious as we've seen us, us struggle with through this crisis. What's really important is making sure that we finish the battle of our foremothers in creating economic self-sufficiency for women, survival that's not tied to work. Women's value is not as workers. We wanna make sure that things like universal basic income become a reality. This has been over a century of feminist struggle. It is not like the brochalist stereotype of 2016. Even in Hawaii, Queen Lili Okalani advocated for this. Another key feature is repairing historic harms to Native Hawaiian communities and guaranteeing that they have a portion, a 20% portion of all federal monies coming in. These are just some examples of the, of the plan that we put forward, which we believe is possible. In Hawaii, there was a pantheon of women gods. The great spiritual and political leaders were women, and the last leader to helm Hawaii before the overthrow of the United, in the, the United States of Hawaii's government was Queen Lili Kalani. I say that because it's important to remind ourselves that a feminist future is not impossible or utopian if it already existed. So we hope that you'll be in touch with us for support and for guidance and that we can celebrate you for passing your own feminist recovery. Aloha.